this is my breeding cage I use the most. These are my best boxes because they're all pine wood. They don't have that stuff underneath for the bottom. Nothing's in it. And there's no cuddle bone because I gotta get more. But they have a mineral block. We usually get a cuddle bone too, but I also have it in powder, so. That's Jack and Oliver. So far, they haven't done anything. I, I'm not sure if it's the weather or what. She did lay this one, but they were infertile because the male she was with. She's old. This is the cage I use the most. Some people say it might be small, but they're not in here for a lifetime, so. And when they're done breeding, they go to the back to their flight cages, which are these. No, he's in that one right now. But there's one male in this one. Here he is. He has no girl right now, so that's why he's in there. And then I set up these. Not the best boxes, but I imagine these two doing anything. There's a Ariana in that one with uh, Volio and then Brisket and Viola. <laughs> she was supposed to be a Viola color, she turned green. But I need cuddle bones for all of them, so that's why they don't even have their holders in right now. But the boxes are just so they get used to it, so. These are the cages I use the most. I've only ever used this cage for breeding twice. This is the second time because Bugles in the winter time was laying constantly. She wouldn't stop. And then in, I think it was February. She looked like she was near dead. So I, I brought her in and I had her in a cage to stop her from laying. And then I thought she was going to die a few days later. But nope, she popped out an egg and she was perfectly fine after that. So I gave her a box. And this only cage I had available, which is actually Snip's summer cage, but he's in a black cage right now. Which, those are his parents. They have four chicks in there. But I hate, these cages are terrible. They're good for seed control, but you can't clean them. I can't clean them right now, because I can't take the whole tray out, because these are flighted, and they live in a shed that goes right to the outside. I mean, I probably would be able to get them back, but there's a brother to him. He's waiting for him to be done, so they can go back out together. Since he has a thermal purge because he gets cold, I think, so that's why he's in there. But I would not recommend these cages, they're terrible. They look nice though, but that's about it. Like, to get to the box, I gotta... They all use a clump on this side? Nope, there they all are. Right there. And I can get to the box easy. I like my boxes on the outside of the cage, but really, I don't. I hate when people cut the wires on a cage just to put a box. So that's why it's on the inside. I can get to it. So when well, there's this cage, this is one of my mixes. It's a powder form. This one has grounded up cat food, grounded up chicken food. The cat food was 30% protein. The chicken feeds 22%. Also has pellets, KT pellets grounded up. That's what's in this one. And then in this jar, I have the same stuff, but I also have uh, grounded up cr uh, crushed peppers in here, red peppers, and then eggshells. For calcium, the, the pepper, the red pepper, is actually supposed to help them lay better, so. I've been giving this to them. I've sp I sprinkle the seeds inside the bowl and then I put this right on top. So if they want their seeds, they gotta dig to it. But there's my powder stuff. One thing I haven't done is have to put little eggs so they lay. I'm just kidding, that's a duck egg. I meant these. <laughs> I haven't had to use these in years. But I'm gonna have to put them in the boxes to see if they'll even sit on them. Has anyone actually used coconuts? as nest boxes. Every time I've ever used a coconut, I've had birds die from like the outside shell or something. So that's why I haven't used these. Even though I bleached it, I vinegared it, I boiled it, I washed it, and I still don't trust what's on the outside or something. It's like the chemicals they spray on them or something. 
So, one of these days I do want to try it, though. When I feel it's safe enough. I also have a nest box attached to my male's cage. Just because <laughs> he's only a male in there, though, so. I've seen people use clay pots. Has anyone used a coconut? I want to know that. Comment below. I don't know if it makes a difference the way you get them either. I have two of these. This is the bigger one. The other one is... Right here, it's smaller. Kind of ugly too. That one looks better. I don't think a bird could fit in this one. But they're being some bleached. Because I don't trust them. Years ago, I had uh, my birds eat a coconut, like the insides with the shell and stuff, and then like three of them died like a day later, so that's why I haven't used them since. This has nothing to do with breeding, but this is my garden post. But what I want to actually do is take this stuff, this mess, and put it all around, and then put my birds in there. For the summertime anyways. I think it would be cool. This would be the door. But I need more wood and I also need a lot of those rolls. So I haven't gotten those yet. But that's what's going to happen with this. Just thought y'all would let to know.